Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Zhi uh, Liangyuan from Toshiba Risk Europe. Here, I'm going to talk about uh, our latest uh, security system, which achieves uh, 10 megabits per second secure key rate in real time. And this work is, is uh, a result of collaboration between our group and our colleagues uh, at the uh, Corporate Risk R&D Center in Japan. So we did a lab dem uh, we did a demo uh, in lab tour on Tuesday. This is uh, our system. We have a transmitter and a receiver that are separated by uh, two 10 kilometer five spools. And this uh, system, uh, in demo, we achieved around uh, between 12 to 13 megabits per second on that day. So, so why do we need a high uh, scale key rate? So basically, right now, we are already in the digital age. So in the rise of the internet and the cloud. Therefore, we need a secure communication infrastructure to secure our uh, communications. And for some uh, critical uh, data, we need a long-term uh, uh, confidentiality. For example, uh, government census data, and healthcare and genome data, and tax records. F for a possible solution is to use like a, some kind of secure key exchange uh, with a one-time pad to achieve this for long-term uh, uh, long-term uh, uh, confidentiality. But however, this, uh, the present uh, uh, bitrate of uh, QKD system is very limited. For most of, you will see, uh, look at the like, commercially available system, most secure queues are around tens of kilobits per second. And the, the, in the, in the state of the art, the key rate is 1.9 megabits per second, which we achieved uh, last year. So, so uh, with a uh, uh, secure key rate is basically depending on, on the detect problem and also some other factors. With a given detect efficiency and dark rate, we can theoretically calculate this kind of secure key rate as a function of far distance or channel attenuations. You will see this uh, uh, key rate will be exponentially increased with the decrease of fiber length. But however, in reality, typically, we are seeing kind of this increase, increase will stop at some point. We have started to have a bottleneck, and, the, and this uh, uh, security, uh, security key rate cap at short distance. And this is because the QKD is a lot of, uh, basically kind of like they have many uh, data, uh, 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 many stacks in the data flows. Any of them have like a bottleneck, and will have a, have a limited secure key rate. So during the uh, past few years, we have a very, uh, in the community, have very significant improvement in the qubit pre preparation and uh, qubit detection. So we can, we can, uh, we can deal with very high speed preparation and detection rate. But however, the, the electronics, like in the uh, uh, sifting process, and error correction and prism amplification are, are becoming the bottleneck at the moment. <laughs> So, so, so we have developed a, a, pro, a system to solve this, this particular problem. This is a, 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 this is a, a, a logical view of our, our system. Our system for transmitter and receiver, we, have, we use a 10G communications between all the, for all the class communications. And for the transmitter we, uh, and receiver, we have a 2U uh, QAD box and a 1U uh, uh, computer server. We use a room temperature ingress avalanche filter dials for single photon detection. And we use a, a, a T12 protocol. And uh, we have developed a new sifting FPGA board for, to, to cope with the high count rate. And also, we developed EC and PA uh, hardware for uh, high speed post processing. In the meantime, we use uh, two fibers to connect between uh, Alice and Bob. We, uh, we have also pro, uh, provisioned a DWDM optic inside for feature uh, single fiber operation. So this slide uh, summarizes the performance for each of the data stacks. For, for qubit preparation and transmission, we use a one gigahertz uh, clock signal, and we use T12 protocol. And the detector, we use uh, the detection rate, uh, we use room temperature detector, and the count rate is beyond uh, 100 megacount per second. For sifting, electronics can cope with uh, 250 megacounts per second uh, data uh, photon throughput. For error correction, we, uh, for uh, standalone decoder, we have achieved 200 megabits per second decoding rate with error correction efficiency about 15 to 25 percent 
poorer than the uh, theoretical limit. For previous amplification, the, the, the headline key, uh, the, the process rate is 108 megabits per second. So let's look at the optics of our system. Uh, again, right, we, uh, this is, we use uh, two ingots, uh, self different airborne food diodes. And, and this is that detect have a very temperate uh, t uh, time window, about 100 picoseconds. Therefore, it allows a very high key rate and multi user network and operating on live fiber, fibers. And we use uh, active uh, stabilization to track the uh, to track the polarization drift along these uh, five channel and also the the, temp uh, the phase drift of the magnetic interferometers and also the temporal drift of the photon arrival time at the detector. Therefore, it allows the hand-free operation of the system. And for the T12 protocol, protocol and we uh, issued an efficient version of decoy post protocol and with a failure, key failure probability of 10, 10 minus 10. And for decoy parameters, we use a, a, a photon uh, intensity about 0.4 photons per pulse. I'll give you more about the D, uh, the T12 protocol. This was, uh, was developed about five years ago, and it has been used in, in many systems serving to various Tokyo field trials. And it currently is the current protocol for the Kermit Mutual uh, quantum network. It is very efficient and practical and secure. And security, the security is provable and composable and quantifiable. It uses uh, three decoy uh, pulse intensities. And it uses, uh, we use linear programming to estimate the decoy param uh, parameters. And we use a very high and highly unbiased encoding and basis to, uh, for uh, high efficiency. Also, we have included the finite size effect for the protocol. And, uh, <coughs> and, and we have to achieve a, a good uh, secure key rate. We have to uh, use, uh, we need to use a, a pre, uh, post processing block size of on order of 100 megabits. 100 megabits. So this, uh, this time shows the high speed uh, uh, error correction hardware. We use, uh, we imprint uh, the error correction on the arterial FPGA board. And we use a low density uh, parity check. And this, is, uh, uh, this uh, shows the data flow, artist character uh, syndrome, using FPGA and send the syndrome data to Bob and Bob receive syndrome and correct a copy of the safety keys. In, lab in laboratory, with a standing uh, decode alone, we have achieved uh, uh, a data throughput of 200 megabits uh, per second. And uh, inside the QGAT system, because of the communication overhead between Alice and Bob, the, uh, the processing rate we achieved is, is 55 megabits per second, and error cor cor correction efficiency is 1.15 to 1.25. So for pre amplifications, we use an uh, uh, Intel computer coprocessor. And we, uh, we use a very uh, large block size of 100 megabits. Uh, we applied numerical theoretical transform to a uh, uh, topic matrix to with, with much reduced uh, complexity. And we use a parallel uh, programming. And uh, this is a result we have achieved. And we can see here the, the through, uh, we can achieve a throughput of uh, 100, uh, 108 uh, megabits per second, even with a, a, a cube of, of 5%. The, this uh, previous amplification board, uh, the processor is still able to, to support 20 megabits per second secure key generation. So single photon detectors is, uh, is, a, is fairly old. It's a 10 years technology now. So we, we use uh, Ingas APDs in, in gated mode, <coughs> and we use a, a it's called cell different circuit to uh, process in the photon detection signal to allow to increase the sensitivity. So the, the final detector is rugged and compact and operate room temperature up to uh, 50, um, uh, 500 microns per second per detector. For the two uh, detectors, uh, for the uh, particular two detectors used in the uh, 10, uh, 10 megabit per second system, 
and this is the, the uh, detect performance. We operate at the efficient around 31-32% efficiency. With dark count probability around uh, 10 to minus 4 uh, uh, dark count per, per gate, and uh, with an uh, output rate between 3 to 4%. So this is our result. <coughs> we operate a QKD system over uh, four, roughly four and a half days. It has been very stable. Over this entire period, we have, a, we have obtained 5.2 terabits uh, key materials with a uh, secure key rate of around a seven, uh, it carried at 13.7 uh, megabits per second with a cube around 3% and a saved key rate is around uh, 48 megabits per second. So basically right now our QKD system can support uh, over one terabit uh, secure keys per day. So finally, I would like to tell you about the error correction performance with the live uh, QKD data. So uh, first, we, uh, you can see here uh, the, the because we use a, a one-way uh, error correction, is uh, so therefore it has it, it has a finite uh, uh, failure probability. The failure probability is, is always below one percent over the entire period. And error correction efficiency is slightly poorer than studying uh, decoder alone. This is because we use, uh, in the calculation uh, the, the syndrome, we use an uh, extra 10% uh, margin for, for Cuba. OK, so this is uh, finally, I would, would like to compare our, the, the performance of our system with uh, the other uh, uh, system. Basically, all these systems are operated at uh, uh, clock rate around at one gigahertz. So we can see here uh, our system at, at 13.7 megabits per second, and uh, all our competitors were the most part around uh, s over 700 uh, kilobits per second. Even we, uh, when we normalized at 50 kilometers, our key rate is still, still about one, between one, and two, one to two order magnitude higher than, the, than other systems. Okay, this brings to my conclusion. So we have, I'll show you the first 10 megabits per second secure key rate QKD system. And uh, this, uh, this system is thanks to the high uh, uh, throughput safety electronics and, uh, hard and, and hardware uh, ECPA post-processing. Yes, thank you for your attention.